Hey guys, welcome back to Wings Lecture. This is Vetri. In this video, we are going to see about uh, two different types of data type which having some special features when we comparing with other data types. First one is tuple and another one is set. First we will see about tuple. So tuple is a data type, it will have collection of data and uh, it's a kind of list actually, uh, but it differs in some characteristics. The main characteristic is uh, we cannot uh, modify the values in tuple. In list we can modify the value, it's mutable, but uh, when it comes to tuple, we cannot change or modify the values. Uh, tuple is completely immutable, right? Then um, we can ask, you can ask the question like, uh, already we have the data type called list. We can store the data. So if we want, we can modify otherwise, it's not necessary to use a new kind of database, right? So the, the answer is very simple. Uh, in some cases, we need a data database, it cannot be changed, which cannot be changed. Uh, for example, if you want to store your account number, bank account number, so that cannot be changed, right? If you, uh, if you want to store uh, our other number, PAN card number, voter ID number, so there are so many unique IDs are there, right? So it cannot be modified, it cannot be changed, it's primary, right? Uh, if once it's created, we cannot change. It has to be uh, like what we have seen already, right? So that in that cases, you can use this kind of data types like tuple, right? Now, let's start with tuple. Now I'm going to give, I'm going to create uh, my data. For example, I'm going to create my database. Let's see. Mm. My data equal to. So one of the important thing is you have to use circle bracket here. In list you have used square bracket, right? Here you have to use circle bracket. That's the main difference here. First I'm going to give my other number. So don't check, it's gonna be random. 16 digit other number. Next I'm going to type my name. Next I'm going to type my citizenship. Yes, I'm an Indian. So that's it. Here I have stored. It, it's my list. You can check now my data. So here is my, da my data, uh, my other number, my name and my citizenship. So this is how we are going to uh, store the data. So here if you want to st fit, if you want to modify my uh, details, means you cannot modify. Uh, in uh, tuple you, we used to do, right, sorry, in list. So, but you can fetch the data by using the index. For example, by using zeroth index, you can get my value. You can get my other number but you cannot modify it. See, let's try my data zero equal to, so I just want to keep some other numbers. See the error. So we cannot uh, modify the data, right? So you can see here, the error is tuple object does not support item assignments. Assignments means we cannot replace. So once it's created, it has to be, right? that's it and uh, other operations are quite similar uh, like a list but but you cannot change the value that's very important right then let's see uh, about set now set we know that what is set right set is also a collection of similar data right and we will use sets in um, very uh, rare uh, places where uh, it will have a very rare applications um, First thing is, uh, let me explain uh, what are the different characteristics, characteristics it is having. Uh, main thing is, it will not support sequence. It, if we are, uh, for, first uh, I will explain C. So here I'm going to uh, create one set like, uh, so here you have to use curly brackets. In mathematics we used to use this, um, 12, 56. 67 and 10 so here uh, here I have entered the values like 12 56 67 and 10 so it's created 
my set is created now now check my set see in which order i have entered but see the order here 56 10 67 and 12 which means it will not follow it will not support the sequence which we have entered the data right but it will fetch all the data from your set it will display to you but it's going to be an in random order that's the important thing and here uh, set will not support index also set will not support index values but we can add the value we can remove the value uh, by using uh, by for using the same functions so here we will have many functions you can use all the or add all the things for example if you want add for example i want to add 78 you can let's let's check 78 is added now just compare the output from here 56 10 67 12 here it's completely different the order is completely different so that's the important thing uh, in set okay so you have to understood and um, the order the order is very uh, uh, different uh, when we compare with uh, other all the data types so i hope you understood the difference between list tuple and set right and we have one more data type which is uh, which named is dictionary uh, one of the important and special data type in python so we will see about that in next video I hope you understood the logics and the syntax um, and basic operations of these two data type. And if you have any doubts, you can comment in comment section. Thanks for watching. Keep support. Subscribe. Wings lecture. Thank you. We'll see you in another video.